bow something. Hi guys, this is Fonzi from Watermelon and uh, we promised to you some uh, video about Project Y, technical demo and stuff. So actually we got some setbacks and we said that. <laughs> so we cannot show the full game yet. But uh, we made a nice technical demo a few weeks ago and now we have explained to you what's going on how, why is it possible Or maybe not yeah. So, so, this is Big Sprite uh, The white color here uh, It's the end of the CPU processing This is CPU usage in green So you can see 7% 7% CPU use uh, the color is here is a CPU time to process this thing. So let's say I can add another guy. Uh, yep. I can add another like, big guy, so you can say up 16% CPU use. So those sprites are so huge, they come from the uh, arcade version of Final Fight. The gameplay is not implemented yet. So yeah, we got Excel from Street of Rage 3. We got the big guy from uh, Firefight, gigantic three bosses at the same time, guys. 25 CPU use. Blaze. So you will see what's interesting here because we are benchmarking the thing. Uh, is that I can add up to 12 or 16 sprites, and then. You can see that some animation starts here and this is what we are working on at the moment because right now we got more sprites uh, than any any bit em on 16 bit system. It's like and we are working to improve again. So you see here it's starting and uh, we are working on new tools so we're gonna work around this limitation and I can promise you that yeah we're gonna next time not only not only 4 of them, not, not only 12 of them, but like 16 of them. Hi guys, it's me again. So I, I forgot to explain cool stuff here. So can we take a look at this? So here it's so, something so awesome. You cannot do that on a computer. It's why Sega Genesis development is awesome. Is that in Sega Genesis the picture is sent directly to the TV. There is no frame buffer, they know anything. So what I do here, which is what is interesting, is that I wrote a color. Uh, I wrote the green color when I start the processing, and then I, when I end my processing, which is done in real time while sending to the TV, it's retracing line by line. And when I end my processing, I switch the color black to, to black. To, I go from green, then red, then white, than black. So I can know exactly and extremely precisely if my code is stable or not. Because else, if it was starting to junk, to go uh, junky and stuff like this, or if it was starting to be very low, then I know I'm using a lot of CPU time. If it's just keeping at the top of the screen, then I have all this free for the gameplay. And the more I will push this with optimization up, the more I have CPU time for the gameplay. And we know that gameplay is very important, right? So that's why we put much effort to get huge sprites. Huge sprites, no question, huge sprites. You're never going to see that in any other Sega Genesis games. Huge sprites, lot of free time for the gameplay, equal. We try, we try, we try very hard to maybe do one of the best Beat them all. Beat them up. Or <laughs> what is it? Uh, beat them up. <laughs> no, 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 we got the name for that. Uh, RPG. RPB. World playing beat. Beat yeah. them up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's RPB. awesome. That's awesome, guys. And uh, sorry for the UC little flickers here. Oh, I'm going to talk about that. It's very exciting as well. The Sega Genesis feature. <laughs> feature. <laughs> is that when I draw a color like this. Every time I draw the color which I use for debugging, the Sega Genesis actually he has a color memory, and when you write to write again the color to update the color to from for example to green to black, it's going to glitch one pixel on screen randomly, uh, which is exactly at the time 
I'm writing the color to the color memory. So you say, oh cool, and this is exactly the effect you get in Sonic if you look very close to the water in Sonic when they switch the palette from uh, outside water to inside water, look very closely, you will see a line of little dots, little glitch, like this. You will see a lot of little flickering pixels, and this is why also Sega Genesis is awesome, this is why Sega is awesome, because they put some sprite over it. So when you Sonic you see the water, they put some sprites to hide the, to hide the glitch, and that's why Sega is very smart, and that's all. See you guys, hope you enjoy. I go.